Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Kenyon Jones, and I'm the co-founder of the Exodus 100, a nonprofit organization uh, which reaches at-risk youth. Today, we want to talk about effervescence. Effervescence. Uh, when I think about the word effervescence, I can't help but to uh, get excited because uh, as we look at the definition, effervescence means livelihood. It means exhilaration. You know, so as I uh, approach each day, I approach each day with a level of effervescence that <laughs> you probably won't believe. And I can't believe it sometimes as well, but I'm excited about life. And the reason why I'm excited about life is because finally, 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 you know, I'm in a position of doing what I love to do. And not only am I doing what I love to do, but I'm actually realizing some of the things that I dreamed about before and they're actually coming to fruition and I'm I'm walking in that dream now if you guys have followed uh, the videos that we put out um, over the past few weeks you know uh, there's a saying that I have about dreams and it goes like this dreams will always 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 remain dreams until we wake up but once we wake up now those dreams become goals you know so finally <laughs> Finally, I have woken up, right? I've woken up, and now my dreams are not just dreams anymore. Now they're goals because I woke up and I realized, wait a minute. You know, you went to, to school for four years. You got a four-year degree. You know, you have gifts, talents, and abilities in so many different areas of your life. You know, why are you subjecting yourself, if subjecting is even a proper word to use, but that's what I'm feeling. Why would you subject yourself to a low standard of living? Like, why would you try to put yourself in a box? Why would you try to be relegated to somebody else's rule for your life? The reality of it is, is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. One, God has a unique plan for you in your life. Two, and his plan is, is for you to succeed and not to fail. Three, so now if he has a plan for me to succeed, a plan for me not to fail, why am I not succeeding? How come every time I look around... As, as, as good as I am and, 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 and as nice of a guy that I am, you know, my, my, my level of understanding mentally is not matching up in terms of things being tangible, you know. So I really had to, you know, look myself in the mirror and be honest with myself and say, listen, man, like, like my man Jim Rohn says, don't be afraid of what you see. Just look at it, be honest and say these are the facts, you know, and the fact is or the facts were that I wasn't doing well, you know, it, it, as good as I was doing, you know, it, it wasn't great. And that was the problem. The problem was is that I was doing good. The problem was is that on the outside, everything looks like it's intact, looks like it's in order. But when I really do a self um, introspection of what's happening, of what's going on, that good in my life didn't match up with the greatness that's within me, you know. So I, I really compare it to... Uh, an athlete, and I always use analogies uh, for athletes, so uh, please, uh, you know, just work with me through this. Um, there's certain athletes who are professionals, and then there's another group of athletes who are all-stars or all-pro players or, um, you know, the best at what they do. Then there's another level, an upper echelon, if you will, of people who are the creme de la creme superstars of what they do. And then we take it to an even higher level, another apex. We have individuals who are Olympians, right? So now not only are they the best at what they do, but they're actually, you know, one of the top in the world. So now we're talking about across the globe, every continent, every country, every territory, any place that people breathe air, these are the people who are the best at what they do. And then we take it up to another level because now we have people who come in third, which is, which is bronze. We have people who come in second, which is silver. And then we have the top of the food chain first, which is gold. Now, we all started out the same way. We all are playing on an equal field. But how come one person 
gets bronze, another person gets silver, and another person gets gold. What's different about that? Obviously, they're all great at what they do. If, if they weren't, they wouldn't be Olympians. So they're all great at what they do. But there's something to be said about the difference between gold, silver, and bronze. Now, the reality of it is, is that if you're third in the entire world, listen, that's not that bad. If you're second in the entire world, I mean, that's even better. But there's something to be said about being first in the world. There's something to be said about standing at the, the top of that podium, knowing that you are the best at what you do. There's something to be said about that. So every single morning that I wake up, I'm excited. And the reason why I'm excited is because I understand that I will never, I'll never be able to get yesterday back, right? Tomorrow is not promised. So since I'll never be able to get yesterday back, tomorrow's not promised. The only thing that I have in my possession is right now. The only thing I have in front of me is this moment. The only opportunity that is really there is the opportunity that I have in front of me. So now, either I'm going to complain about what didn't happen yesterday. I'm going to wish for things that didn't happen yet. Or I'm going to say, you know what? I'm here right now. What am I going to do right now to transform my whole entire life? Now, the reality of what I'm saying is this. As human beings, we are God's highest creation. We have the ability to make decisions, to change our minds, to say yes, to say no, to choose life, to choose death, to go wherever we want to go, to live any place on the planet, to do whatever it is we want to do. Yet, we, we don't fully get to our potential because of what we hear other people saying and what other people are doing, what they're not doing. Who has ever become anything of note in our family? You know, we've never seen anybody in our communities become anything. So... How can I really do it? How dare I think that I can transform my family's life? Who the hell do I think I am to think that I can become anything that I write down on a sheet of paper if I really just trust and believe that I put my mind to it, I can actually become that? Who the hell do I think I am? <laughs> oh, man. But here's the thing. Once you wake up, right, once that dream is, is now a goal, and you write that thing down and you start walking it out. Listen, things start to happen. Things start to change. You know, you start having TV appearances. You start getting on radio. You start, you know, traveling the world. And it's not about being a celebrity, but it's about being who you're supposed to be. So I'm not after trying to be a celebrity. That's not what I'm going for. I'm going for me being who I'm supposed to be. And in the midst of me being who I'm supposed to be, my purpose, Kenyon Jones's purpose here on earth, is to make sure that everybody that I come across, that they do well. That's my purpose on earth. That every single person that I have the, the opportunity, the privilege to meet, that they all do well. And everybody that's around me, they know that this is what it is. I don't have to say it. I don't have to verbalize it to them. They just know what time it is. Because everybody that's around me, for any amount of time, they have benefited from being around me as I have benefited from being around them. That's the reason why we're around each other, you know? So my whole focus, my whole goal is to make sure that I'm doing everything possible to, to, to make life the way it's supposed to be. One last thing before I close. I have been uh, blessed um, tremendously in my life. And April 11th, 2004, I had a teammate of mine uh, invite me out. Uh, to a church service and by me going to this church service you know i had really no idea you know what it was about but to make a longer story short here's what happened um i went in and i heard a message that transformed my whole life and it transformed my thinking and it wasn't something that um anybody could could sit down and explain but it was something that was revealed and by it being revealed to me in that way i was able to respond now, this is not a, a message of me trying to proselytize or trying to uh, get you to drink the Kool-Aid or whatever. That's not what this is about. What this is about is 
going in a place one way and coming out totally changed, totally transformed. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. Do I make mistakes? Sure. But I'm continuing to push forward, trusting and believing that I'm living the life that I'm supposed to live and I'm having an impact in the way that I'm supposed to have an impact. And I'm not going to lie to you. It's the best feeling in the world to finally understand why you were placed on this earth. So to everybody out there all over the world, I want you to join me in becoming who you're supposed to be. Join hands with me to become the person that you're supposed to be, to be all that you can be. Why should you settle for being less than what you were created to be when you have the full capacity and the full opportunity to be all that God has called you to be? Thank you for watching and God bless.